Hey Yens, how are you all doing? I hope you are all well. It's been almost a week since I filmed. Uh, while I have been around and crafting, kinda, I have just not been up to making videos as well. I have been feeling better compared to what I was the week prior. I just didn't have the energy or brain capacity to really sit down and make a video. Plus, there's been some personal work and personal and work related things happening last week that just took my time and energy and therefore I didn't have time to film. So I'm back today. It is Sunday. I'm filming tonight, Sunday, September 22nd. Uh, this will go up on Monday and thought I would sit down and show you some of the progress I've made over the last almost week. I think the last time I filmed was Monday that went up on Tuesday for uh, my channel. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm Gerald, Ginger Gerald Stitcher. And this is a channel primarily about cross stitch. However, I do also knit and I show a lot of my knitting progress on here and I've been knitting a lot lately. And I hope you, if you like what you see, you hit subscribe and the bell notification so you get updates on the videos that I post. Since I, as much as I want to be regular in the videos that I post, I've been pretty irregular lately. Even though the word of the year is consistency. I've been consistently irregular lately. And that's something that's been trending lately just because of what's been happening in life. I started back to the gym today after almost two week hiatus due to the illness. And so I'm trying to get back into a routine. I'm going to try to go back every day this week just to get into that regimentedness, regimented routine. And we'll see how that goes. So, getting back into consistency. So I got off the bandwagon there for a little bit, but today I'm going to try to get back on the train and pick back up where I left off and continue because that's all I can do. So I have a little bit of progress to show you. I do have one purchase to show you, uh, something that doesn't happen all too often, but let me show you first what I've been working on. So I did work a little bit on my sweater that uh, basically it's just round and round and round and round and round of the same pattern. So I'm not gonna show you that all the time. Maybe put two or three inches of the same thing. So nothing all that exciting to show. So when I have something more exciting to show, I will show that on here. Other than that, I have been working on the sock using the I picked this back up yesterday, I think. And this is the color Chambord, and I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. And it's a color that I purchased in a Yarn of the Month Club of Cocktails, which is uh, from Trilogy Yarns. I, I did three months of the Yarn of the Month Club. This is an 80-20, I believe, or 80... 80, 15, 5 maybe. Uh, I don't have the card anymore. And so 80% wool. I know it's 80% wool. And it's either 15% cashmere, 5% nylon. I think it does have some nylon in it. I could be wrong. I don't know. It's sock yarn. It's fingering weight sock yarn. And so I am on... I. Last night, I completely finished the leg of the sock. No, this morning, today. I finished the leg of the sock, or the foot of the sock. This is the leg. It's a, it's a shorty sock. Leg, heel. So yesterday, I did the heel, the gusset, and the gusset decreases. And then today... And last night I started the, the foot 
And today I finished the foot and I'm now currently working on the toe, the toe decreases using the double pointed needles. Probably going to finish this tonight because it doesn't take all that long to, if not tonight, it'll be done tomorrow. Doesn't take all that long to work on decreasing a toe. Want to get this done and then I'll have a complete pair. And that's how much yarn I have left. It's probably not going to be enough to do another pair of socks. So I don't know what I'll have, but I'll have a good bit left. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. That's the downfall of having short socks, small socks. If it was a pair of socks for me, I wouldn't have any left. Or I'd have very little left. So, women's socks. You always have yarn left. Okay, so that is the sock yarn, or the socks. Then I did do a, a good bit of stitching, but only on one project. So I've been wor uh, working and working on the Reaching, Reaching Skyward Stitch Along by Modern Folk Embroidery. That's the main picture of it. There is an alternate version. And I'm stitching this on 40 count burnt umber linen by Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers. One over two using DMC. The DMC threads that I am using are The main color is 3829 and 6. So those are the two colors. And here is my progress. Lighting is horrible, so I'm not going to get a good picture of the fabric. However, I have the January block done, plus some, because I did the entire block, I did the entire section of these trees. Because I did some modifications to the pattern. So the pattern is one of those where you can, it's almost like a choose your own adventure where you have two different versions that you can do. You can do version A or version B. I did version A for all of the border. I did version A and then I did version A for this tree and this tree. I did version B for the middle tree because I didn't like the middle tree. But I, so I didn't like the middle tree of or I didn't like the middle, middle tree on version A, but I didn't like the outside trees on version A, but I didn't like the outside trees on version B, and I didn't like the, out, the middle tree on version A. So I did some playing around to make sure that I could do, uh, to make it the way that I wanted. The only thing that's missing on the central top motif are there's two birds, one on each side of this middle motif. And I think I'm gonna do it in a different color. I, want, I think I wanna do all the animals. So there's two birds right there on the center of that middle motif. Plus there's two animals here down farther, either deer or swans. Plus there's other birds throughout. I think I'm gonna do all those animals in a different color. So all the mammals in a third color, but I'm not sure which color, so I didn't stitch those in yet. But this is now put away for now until I'm ready to stitch on the February block, which from here down is February. So, really good progress. That took quite a long time. This border up here 
it's it's some dense dense stitching so no joke excuse me as i hit the table no joke that is some dense stitching so modern folk embroidery reaching skyward stitch along 2023 stitched on fiberlicious yummy fiber 40 count linen called burnt umber it's a plum brown purpley color but looks brown at some times and purple and plum in other times using two colors at the moment of DMC. That's my progress. I do have one purchase. And this has been something that I have been considering buying for a number of years and I never, never hit the checkout. And so as I was watching a number of end of year project parades, as many people call uh, whip parades, not that I've ever seen anybody stitch this, but I've seen other people stitch patterns by the same designer. I took the plunge and bought the pattern. So this is a pattern by Courtney Collection. I know they can be Courtney Collection patterns, I think are out of print now, but you can still find the random Courtney Collection pattern here or there. And this is one that I have had my eye on for quite some time and it's called Celtic Lads. So Celtic Lads by the Courtney Collection up close. There it is. It's a very skinny but long pattern. This one, they have it framed. I'm sure you could do it as a bell pull. No clue when I will do it, I, but I think I have a fabric picked out already. So this will be something that goes into my stash for now and then at some point, foreseeable future maybe, we'll get a start. I can't imagine seeing that this is how, how this is the size of this that it would take super long to stitch. It is 43 stitches wide by 451 stitches tall. 43 by 451. So again, super skinny by very long. So there you go. That is all I got for you today. I do have some plant updates, but I will put that in the next video. I just wanted to get a video out today. Uh, the amaryllis that I've been waiting for to start opening up is finally starting to open. So maybe tomorrow I will put that in the video. So be on the lookout for that if you're interested. And maybe I will throw in a couple other plants that are doing so-so this week. Some others are just looking absolutely decrepit. I'm hoping to revive them here in the next couple months for spring. But such is the life of a plant parent when you're in the, uh, the midst of a move from house to house and you're learning new home conditions. So with all that, I hope you all have a wonderful week until I see you again. Keep doing the things that you want to do. And as always, don't forget to always be creative.